Hello everyone and welcome to another official Doom Builder 2 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to cover copying and pasting. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a sector here and we'll make it 640 by 640. And now what we're going to do is actually go into sectors mode and we're going to select this sector then we'll come up here to the edit menu and go to copy go to the edit menu again and go to paste and you can also push control C and control V respectively so currently you can see I'm in something called edit selection mode which means that I can modify this sector I just pasted in so if I click anywhere and drag over this sector I can drag it around and I'll just put it right here and I also have the option to rotate it by drag click dragging over the corners and you'll notice that it moves it at a 45 degree angle if I shift drag that it will let me put it at pretty much at any angle that I want so I'll put that back to where it was and I can actually control the length and width of the sector as well so if I click drag this top part you notice that it moves and if I go to the side I also can move this and you notice that it's snapping to the grid while I do this if I hold the shift key you notice that I can put it anywhere that I want and another hotkey you can do with this is deals with sector stitching so what I can do here is if I drag it next to this sector here and I let it go and I hit enter to accept that change and then I come back into this sector and I go right back into edit selection mode by pushing E so now I'm back to where I was where I can edit this and I drag this line you'll notice that it modifies both sectors based on where the line is well if I undo this change and this time I select it go into edit selection mode and use control when I drag it over and push enter and now I come back to this sector and push E so you can see that this time it didn't actually stitch the sectors together so I'm going to accept that change by pushing the enter key and you'll see our square ends up like our original one but now what we're going to do is actually put a door in between these two so I'll drag this over one and I'm going to create a door here so I'll draw a sector that's going to be 32 by 128 okay and now I'm going to start setting the properties of it so I'll change the floor to zero set my ceiling to a door texture the flat 20 push OK and that's the floor so I'll go into lines mode and first I'm gonna set the door tracks up so I'll select these two sides and I'll do a lower on peg so they don't move come to side defs come to the middle texture and this should just be a refresher at this point so I'll come over here to doors and I'll go to door stop push OK I'm gonna push OK again and lastly the door trigger I'm gonna set up and I'm gonna select both of these and I'm just going to go to the action one since I know that's the one I want and I'm gonna to go to the side defs and change my upper textures to a door so I'll push OK push C to clear my selection you be wondering why I just made a door in a copying pasting lesson well if I wanted to make another one of these doors down here I could just redraw it out but rather than do that why don't we come up here go into sectors mode and I'll select that sector we'll come up here to copy and we'll go up here to paste and you see we got our sector and I'll drag it down here where I want it and I'll push enter and you'll notice that when I did that it kept all the specials now this actually gives us an there's actually another option that we can use if we didn't want to keep the specials for some reason so what I'll do is put, go up here and I'll undo that paste and this time I'll select the door and I'll do edit 
copy and this time I'm going to go to edit paste special. Now you get this dialog box that pops up here. See that I have several options that I can use dealing with tags and actions and the floor and ceiling height. Basically I can choose to keep the tags the same as they were copied which means my tags are going to be the same as the original. I can renumber the tags to make sure that the tags from this door and the next door are different or I can just remove all the tags altogether and I also have an option to remove all the actions. Dealing with the floor and ceiling height I can actually make it automatically adjust to the surrounding floor and ceiling height which is very useful if you want to copy and paste doors on different levels or any other kind of uh, special action sectors. So right now the way I have it set up I'm not really having to renumber these tags because I don't really have any tag numbers using the doors that I currently put in. So what I'm going to do is come over here and push cancel and I'm going to set up a bit of a different door so we can see the difference in those specials that we're using. So I'll come in here to lines, select the two lines and I'm going to change the action to switch repeatable door open wait close fast and push OK which we know is action 114 and since we have that as a switch repeatable action we need to set a tag to it so I'll push new tag push OK and now I'm going to jump into sectors mode select this sector and I'm going to give it that number one tag that we used OK push OK and now we're going to see the difference in using paste special versus just paste so what we're going to do is select this sector we're going to come up here we're going to go copy and we're going to go to paste special and this one will go ahead and just leave all these options the same so we're going to keep the same tags that were copied so we'll paste it we'll drag this over and let me get it separated from the door okay and I'm going to do this one more time I'm going to come up here and paste it again with the special but this time I'm going to go renumber tags to resolve conflicts with existing tags and I'll push paste and there's the door and we will bring it down and line it up with these doors go ahead right there and I'll just push enter okay so right away if I hover over them some differences between our doors here you'll notice that if I hover over the top or the middle one they highlight together but if I hover over the bottom one it highlights by itself and this is because when we copied the bottom one, we used a paste special that said use new tags to keep from conflicting from existing tags. Which basically means that these tags here are different than these tags. So I'm going to go ahead and test this out here. So I'm going to add a player one start. And I'll have it facing the doors and I'll push OK. And one last thing I need to check before I start is sometimes when I paste in between sectors like this, the side textures disappear. So what I'm going to do is go into lines mode and look here and you can see they have by that exclamation point down there. So I'll select these four lines and I'll right click and I'll go to side devs and I can also see that there, this texture offset for X is blank, which means that they are different texture offsets, but I want them to be zero because they're doors. So I'll just come in here and push zero and I'll go to the upper texture and I'm going to make it big door two. I'll push OK and I'll push OK again. So now those textures are set up and we can go ahead and test it out. OK, so here we are in game and you'll see that if I go through this door here, both doors open. And I can walk on either side of them. But when I open this door, it only opens its own door because these tags are different than these tags due to the special that we used. So with that I'll go ahead and go back into the editor. So that pretty much covers the copying and pasting aspect of Doom Builder. One last thing I can show you real quick is that if I copy this again, go to copy and go to paste special, you'll notice that all my settings went back to what they were before. Say I didn't want this and say I wanted to always renumber tags to resolve for conflicts from existing tags. Well, let me click cancel here. And I can come up here to tools, go to pref perf preferences, come over here to pasting and you'll see I have the same options. Only if I choose them here, 
they will default to that. So if I go to renumber tags to resolve conflicts from existing tags, and I push OK, now if I go to edit, paste special, you'll notice that it's automatically selected. So I'm going to go ahead and just push cancel here. And that's pretty much going to wrap up the copying pasting lesson for Doom Builder 2. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next lesson.